ever thought about what it would be like to have super cool bionic powers? Back in 1974, there was a TV show called The Six Million Dollar Man that made that dream a reality. In the series, Lee Majors plays a guy who was an astronaut and got rebuilt with super fancy technology after a big accident. It's like a super high-tech adventure for everyone watching. But it's not just serious stuff. There are funny, surprising, and sad facts in the show that will keep you wanting more. Did a scene or moment in the series stick with you? Or maybe there are interesting things about the show that not many people know. Share your favorite memory or personal story about this classic show in the comments below. We're excited to hear your stories. So relax, enjoy the trip into this world where sci-fi meets reality. Stay tuned for more cool info and remember to tell us what you think because your memories are important. In the ever-changing world of 1974 television, an innovative series took center stage, captivating audiences and blurring the line between science fiction and reality. Imagine a place where regular people transform into bionic beings with incredible powers. This extraordinary journey unfolded in a show starring Lee Majors, who plays an astronaut experiencing a life-altering accident. Equipped with cutting-edge technology, he becomes a superhuman adventurer, navigating a world where the boundaries between sci-fi and reality seamlessly blur. At the core of the series is the protagonist, who undergoes a significant transformation after the accident. The show goes beyond being a high-tech spectacle. It weaves a diverse story full of emotions, seamlessly mixing humor, surprises, and touching moments that connect with viewers. The Six Million Dollar Man is not just about its technological allure, but also about well-crafted characters and relatable experiences. The combination of serious elements and lighthearted moments creates an engaging viewing experience that leaves a lasting impact on the audience. The importance of this series goes beyond its sci-fi theme. It reflects the fascination of that era with advanced technology and human augmentation. Viewers weren't just passive observers, they actively participated in the show's ability to provoke thoughts and stir emotions. As we explore the world where sci-fi meets reality, it's a chance to reminisce about favorite moments and personal stories tied to this classic. Did a specific scene resonate with you, or are there hidden gems not widely known? Share your thoughts below and be part of the ongoing conversation about this beloved show. So, relax, fasten your seatbelts, and enjoy the journey into a place where the extraordinary becomes commonplace. Stay tuned for more insights into The Six Million Dollar Man, and remember to share your valuable perspectives because your memories are important. Amidst the rich culture and history of the 1950s, The Six Million Dollar Man emerged in 1974 as a reflection of the era's fascination with technological progress and human potential. The show captures the spirit of post-World War II America, where science and innovation took the spotlight, setting the stage for the series. In the 1950s, society was undergoing significant changes, with a focus on scientific advancements and innovation following the war. This laid the foundation for The Six Million Dollar Man, where the main character, played by Lee Majors, embodies the American spirit of resilience and adaptation. The show mirrors the excitement of an era that marveled at the endless possibilities of technology. The themes of the Six Million Dollar Man mirror a collective mindset that embraced pushing boundaries. The exploration of bionic augmentation in the series aligns with the era's fascination with enhancing human capabilities through science. It taps into the imagination of a society experiencing remarkable technological progress, reflecting the genuine curiosity and anticipation of an audience eager to envision a future where extraordinary feats become commonplace. Beyond its technological appeal, the series incorporates elements of humor, surprise, and touching moments reflecting the diverse nature of 1950s society. It goes beyond the spectacle of high-tech adventures, presenting a narrative that is relatable and emotionally resonant. In doing so, The Six Million Dollar Man serves as a mirror reflecting the complexities of the human experience against the backdrop of a world undergoing radical transformation. As viewers engage with the show, they actively participate in a cultural dialogue about the evolving relationship between humanity and technology. The series becomes a medium through which the audience contemplates the implications of scientific progress on our lives, echoing the questions and concerns of a society navigating uncharted territory. In conclusion, The Six Million Dollar Man is more than a sci-fi escapade. 
It is a reflection of the 1950s spirit where the thirst for technological marvels and the redefinition of human potential were at the forefront of collective consciousness. The show's themes and content align with the societal currents of the time, offering viewers a compelling journey into a world where the ordinary transforms into the extraordinary. In the initial seasons, Steve Austin often explained away his bionic eye ability by claiming he eats a lot of carrots, adding a touch of humor to the narrative. The mastermind behind the $6 million man, Martin Caden, resided in Cocoa Beach. The series' fictional protagonist, Steve Austin, drew inspiration from Caden's novel Cyborg. Interestingly, Dr. Rudy Wells, a Cocoa Beach physician with roller skates as his trademark, granted permission for the use of his name in the novel. Caden's deep connection to the Space Coast was evident when, in 1997, his ashes were scattered over Cocoa Beach as a final tribute. Notably, the exterior shots of the OSI headquarters were filmed at the Russell Senate Office Building, providing a glimpse of Washington, D.C. across Constitution Avenue from the Senate side of the Capitol Building. These behind-the-scenes insights add layers to the $6 million man, offering a blend of humor, local connections, and real-world settings that enhance the overall viewing experience. The series transcends the confines of pure science fiction, weaving in elements that resonate with the audience on various levels. In the early episodes of the series, Steve Austin sometimes used deadly force against the bad guys. However, as the show aimed to be a role model for kids, the violence decreased and Austin rarely used fatal methods. An interesting fact behind the scenes involves producer Harv Bennett. In the famous opening where we hear Steve Austin, a man barely alive, it's Bennett's voice saying that line. This happened because Richard Anderson, who usually did the monologue, was not available at the time. Bennett stepped in and recorded that crucial part himself. Lead actor Lee Majors added a real touch to the action scenes. Majors claimed that he did an impressive 90% of his own stunts, showing his dedication to the physical demands of the role. This dedication to realism also extended to the story where, in the early seasons, Steve Austin jokingly credited his bionic eye to eating lots of carrots, adding humor to the plot. The series has interesting connections to its creator, Martin Caden. Caden, who lived in Cocoa Beach, heavily influenced the protagonist Steve Austin, inspired by Caden's novel Cyborg. Dr. Rudy Wells, a Cocoa Beach doctor with a distinctive roller skating trademark, allowed what is named to be used in the novel. Beyond fiction, the series used real-world locations to make it more authentic. The exterior shots of the OSI headquarters were filmed at the Russell Senate Office Building, giving viewers a look at Washington, D.C. across Constitution Avenue from the Senate side of the Capitol Building. These behind-the-scenes insights, including the use of local connections and real-world settings, add depth to the $6 million man, making it more than just pure science fiction.